One in four women will experience domestic abuse in their life. Here in Scotland, a domestic violence incident is recorded every 10 minutes. What about all those cases that aren't recorded? Over 130,000 women in Scotland have suffered a serious sexual assault since the age of 16. Over half of these assaults were committed by a woman's partner. This is not how a man should treat his wife. Children here are witness 90% of domestic abuse incidents. What does this teach our children? You can change this. 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 Amina MWRC's You Can Change This campaign asked the Muslim community to unite against all forms of violence against women. We've asked these Muslim men to speak out and share their thoughts about violence against women. Violence against women is a global issue. It may manifest itself in different ways in different countries and cultures, but the bottom line is that it happens across all faiths, all backgrounds, and all countries and is a result of gender inequality in society as a whole. Violence against women is more than just physical abuse. It's verbal abuse. It is threatening language or behaviour. It's psychological abuse. It's sexual contact without consent. It is harmful practices like female genital mutilation. It is pressurising and forcing our daughters into marriages. It is violence in the name of honour. We know that violence against women thrives in a culture of silence and denial. And in the past, we may or may not have played a part in this culture. But the time has come for a change, and I want to be a part of that change. Violence against women in any form, be it verbal, uh, bullying behaviour, physical, is wrong. It should not be tolerated in any way. Uh, to encourage people that if, if there are issues, you know, you, you speak about them or you get assistance or help, but violence, it can come in different forms that we said, uh, it's not justified in any way. That's the kind of paramount thing that we would have to say to people, to say to them that violence against women is just not on, it's not allowed in our society. My message to young people, I suppose, would be that violence against women is wrong. It doesn't make you strong, it doesn't make you a man. Throughout my whole life, I've had remarkable women, uh, be it my sisters, um, be it my mother, be it my grandmother, who've always taught me the value and respect that you must have for those around you and for women in particular. I think violence against women is, is a, a very evil thing within our communities today. And I think, you know, we, we can see violence against women in many aspects, in many walks of life. Simple things like films, you see women are being physically hit. It is unacceptable in this day and age uh, for that to happen. It was always unacceptable, but I think now people have the knowledge not to do these sort of things. Domestic abuse is something that we should not be tolerating, and it should not be tolerated in any community. There's no excuse for it. Zero tolerance. It just cannot happen. We cannot allow our society to live like this or behave like this. There's a kind of threefold thing we have to do. First, we have to meet the problem head on, stop it from happening, then we have to set an example. A lot of people say that, that change has happened and that women have more rights now and there's certain equality balances. Things have not come to that conclusion that everywhere is balanced. You look at the top jobs, men still have the top jobs. Wherever an injustice occurs, we have a duty to speak out whoever it occurs against. I'm going to be writing to all the various television and film industry people, advising them that they really need to ensure that they do not perpetrate violence against women in their, in their dramas and programs because it sends out the wrong message. It sends out a message it's okay to hit women and it's not and we have to stop it. As a role model I would hope I would teach my children that violence against women isn't just about the physical abuse because often within the community they think that if a man doesn't lift his hand then that's okay, but all that means is that the woman is expected to suffer in silence, um, to survive, which isn't good enough, because uh, I see domestic violence as being about a lot more. It's about the verbal abuse, it's about the psychological torture, it's about the financial entrapment, the slavery that some women will feel within the household, within the community, uh, and that's all-encompassing about what domestic violence is, um, and that's what our children need to be taught. My boy is nine years old and my daughter is, uh, alhamdulillah, she's 18 months old. Children are very perceptive. They see 
they see what we see, they do what we do, they act how we act. And if we don't change our behavior and change our response to this abhorrence in our society, then our children are going to have the same problem that we have. I'm married, uh, happily married for two and a half years, and I want those values instilled in my children and my future generations to come so that no matter where it happens and when it happens, we stand up together against violence against women. Forced marriages are not acceptable, whether you're a male or a female. It's a fundamental and basic human right to have the right to choose what's in the best interests of your own future. Mar marriage is an important factor in one's life and choices have to be made and those choices should be the people who are marrying and they should be given those choices. Forcing people into marriage, that's another abuse because uh, sometimes people are emotionally blackmailed, you don't physically need to be hit to get that message across and I think that's another form of abuse against women. It's about um, an inability to control oneself, it's about cowardice, uh, it's about weakness um, and it's just wrong. I would remind my friend about what Islam teaches us, that it is absolutely no justification of domestic violence uh, against women in any shape or form, whether it's physical or emotional, mental or psychological. And I would strongly advise him to repent. I think after I'd stop shouting at them, I hope I would calmly tell them that the abuse has to stop. I would tell him that I was disgusted, that my family was disgusted, and that if his behaviour didn't stop, then he would be exposed and he wouldn't be worthy of friendship, he wouldn't be worthy of being a member of my family, and I would hope that his partner would get all the support necessary um, and that they would find safety um, in my home, in my community. Ask God for forgiveness, ask his daughter, wife or mother, whoever he has abused. Um, I don't have any other means of explaining it to young people. I would just say to them that, you know, under any circumstances, it's not acceptable at all. There was a man who taught us that we should love a woman not just for her looks, but because of the potential she has in bringing us closer to our God and his paradise. He taught us that just because she's older than you or has been divorced doesn't mean that she'd be any less of an amazing wife or an amazing mother. He taught us that the strongest of men are those that are most respectful and compassionate towards women. That man is my prophet and yours, Muhammad, peace be upon him.